the copy paste oh of course i'm sure all of you you know exactly how to work with copy paste it's so easy in word to copy a text or with windows to copy a file no problem in excel it's very simple as well but there is a lot of tips and i'm sure you don't know all of them so this is why in this video i'm going to show you a lot of tips about the copy paste in excel let's go so here in this cell if i have the word value and i want to copy my value no problem i go to this cell i press copy here i select a new cell and i click on paste and as you can see the animation around my source of data is still active this means i can still paste again the value no problem if i press on escape the animation has stopped and here the paste menu is disabled but of course use a copy paste with the ribbon it's totally a shit because you waste the time it's much better to use the shortcut so when you have the same cell here you press ctrl c to copy you can see the same animation and when you select another cell and you press ctrl v you copy the content and the animation here is still active once again ctrl v but there is a tip to paste your data and to stop the animation and in fact the solution is here in the status bar select destination and press enter or choose paste so if i select a cell like this one and i press enter automatically i have copied the content and the animation has stopped now if i try to press ctrl v nothing happened because paste here is disabled and the animation has stopped so here it's really the very basic of the copy paste also what you can do it's to copy a range of cell like this two three i copy more than one cell i copy ctrl v to paste and you can see i paste it no problem let's clean this document okay but of course excel is not only values it's also format so if i have here a new value and i have here in yellow i extend here i have border like this so now if I copy this cell here, for instance, you can see that not only I have copied the content, but also the color and the border, everything. But if you want to copy the content of the cell without the color, without the border, nothing, there is an option to do that. It's the paste special. So I present the tool now, but there is a complete video in this YouTube channel with all the different options of the paste special. So if I select here this cell copy again, I go here, I activate the paste special values. And as you can see, I just have the content of the cell without formatting. But now if I have a list of data like this one, one, and I want to copy it, I have only one, but here again, there is a tip. If I press Ctrl and I extend, I have increased my series of one unit all the time. But here again, there is another video. There is a lot of tips in Excel. There is a video just to increase the series. And here again, with the fill handle, the fill handle, it's this square. There is a lot of action you can do. So please have a look at this other video just to increase the series. But here in that case, if I have these values like this, and I want to make this time a formula like we have seen before, this one times this one, and I copy this formula, you can see that everywhere for each copy, the reference of my cell have changed. This is very inconvenient. And in my example, it's perfect. But let's say I have in one cell one value very important and I have to stay focused on this cell, like let's say 20%. 
Now, if I do the same formula times this one, here it works. But if I use the fill handle to copy my formula, here I have a problem. Let's go here. Activate the formula. Yes, that's another tip. When you activate the cell, automatically you can see the reference of the cell with a different colors. Like here, we have K6 and here K3, exactly the same color as here. So here is a problem. When I have copy, the variable K6 has changed, which is good, but I prefer to stay focused on K1 and it doesn't work here. Don't worry, there is a way to correct this and this is in the video reference absolute. But there is something else I have to tell you. In fact, I have two other things. Most of the time in Excel, you work in a document like this, a huge one. How many rows? No problem. Control a row down and I reach the last cell of my document. More than 1042,000 rows. So, if I want to do a formula here. Let's say I want to multiply my price times 20% the taxes. If I use the fill handle to go down, it's a waste of time. I can spend five minutes in that case. It's too long, but there is two ways to solve this problem. So what can I do? Here, I'm lucky because I have done my formula in a colon where I can reach easily the last cell. So because this cell is continuous to a colon where I have all my data, I just have to double click on the fill handle and automatically Excel knows that you have to reach the last cell node on the previous colon. Okay, control down again. Yes, I have reached the last rows of my document. That's perfect. If my formula is surrounded by empty cells, I can double click all the time I want, nothing happens. But once again, how I can solve the problem to avoid to use a fill and drill to drag down to copy my formula. So here there is a technique I will show you in another video, the technique of the shortcut, where you just have to copy your source, reach the last cell, select your range between this cell and the first one, and you copy, it's done. Last option, it's to work with a table. In Excel, you can put your data inside a table. You can change easily the color, but it's not the main point. Let's say I want to do exactly the same formula. times 20%. Ready? I just have to press enter and automatically Excel copy this formula for the rest of my document. I just have to do one formula, enter, Excel do the copy for you. It's very easy.